In this session, we're going to talk about setting up a forum on your site. Interaction between your readers and site visitors can be a tremendous catalyst for traffic. One of the most popular WordPress plugins for forums is called BB Press. It's actually built by the same people that build WordPress, Automatic. It used to be a standalone application separate from WordPress, but is now a plugin for WordPress so you can install it on any site you already have. The instructions here say it's as easy as install the BB Press plugin from WordPress's plugins page, create some forums, tweak your forum settings, check out your site, and marvel at your greatness. So let's go be great. Here's our site. We go to plugins and add new. Search for BB Press and install. Activate. And now on the left, you see we have forums, topics, and replies. Also under settings, there's a forums option. Let's take a look there first. If you're familiar in general with how forums work, most of this will make sense to you already. When someone posts a forum topic, they may edit their own topic, but this setting says only for five minutes. Throttle time is how often someone may post. You may not post more than once within 10 seconds. This is to prevent robots from just spamming your forums. Most of these are pretty standard forum options. The archive and single slugs are unique to WordPress because WordPress uses slugs to help figure out where you are on the site. You can set these to anything you like and it will affect what your address is in the location bar. Now let's take a look at the forums. We'll create one new forum. We'll call it OS Training. Now in the top right there are some attributes that we can set. This can be a forum or a category of forums. Our status can be open or closed. And visibility can be public, private, or hidden. If we had any other forums already created, we could set one of those as the parent of this one. And the order box allows you to determine in what order the forums appear. So let's publish this one. And now we'll go to view it. And we have a page not found. Very often, when installing a plugin that makes new slugs, we need to reset our permalinks. So under Settings, Permalinks, we simply save changes without making any changes. And now we will reload this forum again, and there it is. This issue is not unique to BB Press. This happens very often with plugins that make new slugs. So we have a forum with no topics, but we can create one right here. It doesn't ask for who I am because I'm already logged into WordPress. You may create tags if you wish. And the topic can be normal, sticky, or super sticky. Sticky and super sticky remain at the top of the forum rather than descending by time. And then you can optionally ask to be notified of follow-ups via email. And there is our test topic. Some options here, we could add this topic to our favorites. If you do, then you'll have a favorites page and you can see all your favorite posts. You may subscribe. You may mark this one as spam or trash it. If you have sufficient privileges, you can merge this topic with another existing topic. If you end up with two topics with basically the same content, you can merge the two. You can stick it to the front of your forum. You can close it so that it could have no more discussion. And you may edit it. Up above here is a breadcrumb. This shows that we're in the test topic under the OS training forum. Let's go back to the admin for a moment. Here we have the topics section. And there you can see the topic that I've already created on the front end. If we edit, we can see the title, the description, what forum it's attached to, the IP address of the person that created it, some publish options, and topic tags. You can also create new topics from right here in the admin area without having to go out to the front end. Assign it to a forum and publish. Now let's try moving our topics around a little bit. I'm going to create a new forum. We'll leave all the defaults. We'll publish it. 
Now let's go over to Topics and view all topics. I'm going to edit this one. And I'm going to move it to my other forum. Then do the same for this one. Now if I go back to this one, there's my old breadcrumbs. When I refresh, my breadcrumb changes. If I click right there, I can see that now my topics are over here. The look and feel of your forum is dictated by the CSS and your theme. Obviously it comes with some default styling, but you can make it look like anything you want. There are also custom plugins available just for BB Press. Let's go take a look at some of those. Here at the top of the page is a plugins link. And I'd like to point out here at the top is a yellow bar that says these plugins are for BB Press 0.9 through 1.1. Visit the WordPress.org plugin repository for BB Press 2 Plus plugins. So we'll go there. You'll note that this is the normal WordPress plugin repository, but we're searching for the tag BB Press. And you'll see that there are quite a few plugins available for a variety of things. To make a custom CSS file, some visual hooks, digests, admin bar edition, some special options for Genesis theme framework, and there are five pages of plugins. These can be useful for doing all kinds of things that you might want your forum to do that it doesn't do out of the box. And that's all there is to creating a forum on your site.